and there's a way we can cheat in our game that I didn't notice before but you can just spam the attack button and Popeye will just automatically win um, which is kinda funny but we don't have to worry about that for now okay so now that we've done that let's just go ahead ahead and add one more thing so we'll come over here to form1.vb and we'll open the designer for it and let's add a button so we will just come over here to our toolbox and we'll add a button and we'll just drag it and make it the entire uh, length of our form okay so now we need to go to the properties and we need to set the text to uh, let's set it to hide log to begin with so let's go ahead and hide the log and for the name we'll do button hide and show so let's double click on hide log so let's go ahead and create a boolean so we'll come up here and we'll type private log shown as boolean we'll set it equal to true to begin with okay so we'll just use an if statement so if log shown then what do we want to do so if it's equal to shown and they click it we're just gonna go ahead and set button hide and show dot text is gonna be equal to show log so if it's shown and they click it it'll be saying hide um, and then it'll change it to show log after it hides so what we need to do is type new log dot hide so So now what we need to do is we need to create an else. So else, so if log shown is equal to false, then we'll type new log dot show, and then button hide and show dot text is going to be equal to hide log. So let's go ahead and run this. Hopefully we won't get errors. So you can see here um, that our log has been loaded. And since we changed the, the size of form 1, um, we get a little error here. Um, this is actually hidden behind there because we uh, increased the length of this. But we'll just go ahead and ignore that for now. If we click hide log, it hides the log and it changes the text to show log. We can show the log. And it looks like we, looks like we need to... Um, change the log shown. So after we do that, we need to stop debugging. So after we set the text to show log, what we need to do is change the boolean. So log shown equals not log shown. So this way, we don't have to know what log shown is equal to. We can just set it to the opposite of what it already is. So if it's true, um, since it's true right here, it'll be set equal to false. So and then we'll just type log shown equals not log shown. OK, so we'll come back to form1.vb design. And you can see that the uh, size of our form is 356. So let's come back into form1.vb and for form1 move, instead of 328, we'll do 356. And then when the form loads, we'll do 356. Okay, so now hopefully we won't have any errors. Let's go ahead and run this. You can see that the logger is attached to the game and we can move it around. Now let's go ahead and hide the log. You can see that the log disappears. And then if we click show log, the log shows back up and it gives us the option to hide it. And you can see that the text changes each time we do this. So we can hide and show the log. 
So then let's go ahead and cheat some and make Popeye win. And you can see that uh, Popeye has won. Popeye got in a whole bunch of attacks, and the dragon only got one in. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and type in this code if you already have it. And once you've done that, move on to the next tutorial. And I believe the next tutorial will be the last for the game.